Hi guys, Michael McManus and Lumi here with Drummond Ranch making part two of our tutorial on how to use sheep herding whistles. This tutorial is specifically for the use of whistles in tribal, however they are the same whistles that you would use in sheep herding. If any of the whistles I use are different than ones that your teachers use or anything like that, that's perfectly fine. Uh, there are no numerous different variations on the whistles out there. These are just the ones that I happen to use and how I train them. This will be about the first two commands you should teach your dog on a whistle which are lie down and come when called, or that'll do. The reason you should teach these two commands first is because they, your dog knows them already. Um, that will make it a lot easier for your dog to learn the significance of the whistle if they already know it, and it'll make it easier for you to train. The way you're going to teach this is by pairing the sound with your body language. So if you have hand signals for down and come, that would be great. If not, I would teach them. You can also pair the whistle with your vocal commands as well. It just takes a little bit more time and uh, a little harder to do. So, the way I like to teach lie down, and I teach lie down first, because if you teach your dog to come on a whistle first, then that's what they're always going to do. So it's better to teach down first, and then the come will come really easily after that. So, the way I like to teach it is I tie my dog out, and then I make sure they're not lying down already. Lumi! Hey, Lumi. Good girl. Sit. Good. And then this will be, whoops, she found a little something to chew on. I'm going to from her. Okay, good. Stay. Good. So this is your first command. Sit. Sit. No, sit. Good. Good girl. I'll do that a few more times so you can see better. So the tone is just straight with a little drop at the end. A flat straight tone is different in tri ball and in herding it usually means to stop and stand without lying down. So let's try that again. Lumi sit. Good. Good girl. So you would be pairing that with your hand signal for down or blowing the whistle and then telling your dog to lie down. And this is assume, assuming of course that you've taught your dog to lie down. If you have it and you want to teach them on whistles you can do that. You would teach it the same way you would teach it on a, uh, uh, for vo vocal commands by luring them into a down or something like that. So, after you teach your dog to lie down consistently on the whistle, and the lie down means stay. That's another reason I like to tie them out so they can't just pop out of it. Right after that, you teach, you teach come when called. And the way you can do that is, you can either let your dog wander off or you can tell your dog to wait. Come on. There's a lot of stuff to chew out here. Good girl, Lumi. So that's, and that can be made longer or shorter depending on the urgency of the situation or how far away the dog is. Lumi, let's try that again, okay? Sit. Wait. Sit. Good. Wait. Good girl. So you can go out to the park or do this in your house, use it to call your dog for their meal, something like that. Any of that would be great practice for these two whistles. After you get that, then you should move on to part three of my tutorial, which will be how to use directional commands and a stop behind the balls. Good girl.